Well, it's week three, day two of the LCS. Travis Gafford here, powered by Alienware. Uh, I'm here with Aka right now. Aka, I know you're actually incredibly confused because this is, from what I understand, your first Travis interview, and it's not Travis. It's me, awfully powered by Alienware. Uh, so what do you think of this experience so far? <laughs> so far, it's been interesting. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Hopefully we don't terrify the poor boy. Uh, Aka, congratulations on your win against 100 Thieves. Now, in the beginning, it looked like you were pretty much steamrolling them, really winning through that top lane. And then it looked like you were having a little bit of difficulty closing it out. What happened there? Um, I, mean, I mean, obviously, we're not perfect team in the mid game. Mm -hmm. So, like, based on this game, we, we know what we have to improve on. And basically, ending games are yeah. about <laughs> <laughs> ending, I mean, and again, it's uh, the thing we need to work on now. And I mean, overall, honestly, the progress we, may, we made is already good enough. I mean, good enough. It's good for us, and we just want to keep improving. And this is just like the, the turning point was ending the game, and we just need hope we are going to fix it soon. Yeah. Well, you were able to find it in the end there. Uh, let's talk about that early game, though. I know you mentioned the mid game. It looked like there was a lot of focus on someday up in the top lane. Ick Smithy was, baby, was basically like babysitting Soaz, rocking him in the cradle. So was that the game plan going in? Yeah, I mean, basically, we knew someday like picking top early rotation. So basically, we didn't make a, like an entire plan like against him, but we knew he would pick top. So basically, we would get a good counter pick, and we would play top side for the early game. So we would like nullify in someday because we he likes to be on side and alone, and just try to scale, etc. It's not it's not really like grouping with his team. So basically, if we pick a good tank against uh, his champion, and we would be able to group all his first objectives, and I mean. He died to the gunk, and then he died again, and then I came, he died again. I mean, then it just makes things easier, right? Because, I mean, he's, he's trying to fight Soaz, and I have problem mid, and he's going, like, I didn't know what he was doing, honestly. So, basically, we just got the free kill, and then I just came back to mid, got my wave, and just, we are, we are really happy with the kill, so, yeah. I mean, basically, we wanted to kill him, to put it in rewards. Well, clearly, both of your solo lanes, you've got it pretty locked down. What do you think of your bot lane? Because we know that uh, all tech coming back into the scene, a lot of people were wondering, like, is he going to come back a little rusty, or did that solo queuing in Korea really pay off? So what do you think of your bot lane duo? I think they are actually quite good. They didn't play before uh, together, mm -hmm. and obviously we are, we are a new team, and we never played with each other, like, any ma single member. So it's hard to find synergy at the beginning. But right now, they are playing good together. And so far, I'm just, I mean, I'm happy with them, you know, so... <laughs> I mean, the results are definitely showing. You guys are now 3-2 and two in the standings, and actually your only losses have been to FlyQuest and Cloud9. Cloud9, no one's taking them down right now. So, But FlyQuest, also a pretty strong-looking team. So when you look at the state of your team right now in comparison to how everyone else is slowly, you know, sizing up in the league, like, where would you place yourself? I mean, at the moment, I would say we are in middle of the table, yeah. honestly. Yeah, because we have a lot of to work on. I mean, I think it's clear right now the first team is Cloud9. And then we will see like TL with Broxa because they won't have any practice as well. So they might like it might take some time to gel with each other. So I mean, honestly, I'm just the question mark for me is TSM kind of because they didn't start good, but I think they are decent players. Mm -hmm. So I mean, honestly, the, just, the surprise is Dignitas for me so far. So I mean, I, I think we we can improve and like play for the top three. I mean, obviously, I want to try to win everything, right? But at the moment, it's not really realistic to go for the top one or two. So, <laughs> of course. I like that. That's modest instead of going, like, top one. I don't know what you're talking about, honey. No, no. So, yeah, I'm just, like, we're in the middle of the pack, and we just want to improve, and we will see how it, like, um, bring us. No. Uh, I mean, whatever. <laughs> no, 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 no. You play Dignitas tomorrow, or is that? Uh, it, we, we play CLG tomorrow. CLG yeah. tomorrow. Okay. Dignitas is a couple of weeks down the road, I think, for you. So you got some time. Uh, but okay, so again, since this is the first interview that we're doing together and with Travis, uh, I want to basically give the fans a window into <laughs> you. This is your first split at the LCS. Yeah. So far, the only thing that people know about you is that you're French <laughs> and that apparently you like this cold weather. Yeah. So what can you tell us about you to uh, bring some people over to your side? I mean, um, I'm not like... I don't have many stuff to say. I just like music and singing. That's the only two things I like. Hold up. Oh. No, stop. <laughs> you sing? Uh, I mean, I like singing like when no one is here, right? <laughs> and then, yeah. What about when just a camera is in front of us? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't right now. Go Champs Elysees. No, no, I can't. I can't. <clears throat> no, 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 I can't. It's too hard.
<laughs> Maybe next time when I'm Maybe them. next time. Okay. Do you know the the words to Oh Champs Elysees? Yeah. That's the only song that I learned in the four years that I took French. So ready? Na 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 na. Okay, ready? Oh uh, soleil, sous la pluie, <laughs> ami di. Oh ami oui. I, I, actually, I don't know all the words. I only know the chorus. Il y a tout ce que vous voulez. Il y a tout ce que. Okay. Chorus. Oh Champs Elysees. Pa da pa da pa. Oh, <laughs> this is now the best interview that we have ever had in the history of Travis Gafford Industries. Aka, I think that that's basically all the people need to know and hear from you. Uh, but let's just let's just do this. So, for all the people who are now huge fans of you for your vocal ability as well as your mid lane ability, uh, anything that you want to say to them? Um, I mean, if you guys are a fan of me. Thank you, but I know like a lot of people don't really like me coming here, so just give me a chance and I'm I'm really kind and I will try my my best to fill uh, big shoes. Eka, thank you so much for this interview and for all those people who don't like Eka, listen to me, I'm coming for you. I'm walking straight into this. Did you not hear him sing? Voice of an angel, okay? Powered by Alienware. Travis Gafford out. Thanks so much for watching that interview. Behind me is the LCS Arcade, which is powered by Alienware, my sponsor. They sponsor uh, this interview and so much of the content that we do here. Uh, there's a bunch of computers and monitors in there that people are playing on, but guess what? You can also win computers and monitors. There's a link in the video description, alienware.com slash Travis. Please enter. That actually helps me. Look, I know. Maybe you think your chances are uh, pretty slim. And uh, I don't know if they are or not because I don't know how many people are entering. But you never know because some somebody's going to win. And guess what? Even if you don't win, I win when you enter it because they, they keep track of that. That helps me out. So let's say we're all winners here except for you if you don't win. But then I would win. So it's all – we all win. Anyway, check it out. Alienware.com slash Travis. There's a link in the description. Travis 10 off. You can save 10% if you're some, buying something while you're over there. Thanks so much for watching.